Hello, I'm Jeff from Ion Software, and it's time to take a peek at some of the incredible new features that we'll be releasing in Fusion 6.3. Our development team has been hard at work continually refining our position tool set, and this time they shed some light on the scene. In our volume fog tool, we have added a very important feature, and probably our most requested feature for this tool. We've added lights that can take advantage of the world position pass to illuminate the fog effect. This is really cool because not only can I add as many lights to the scene as I wish, including taking full advantage of Fusion's animation features, but I can really control the fog's reaction to the light. So when I go into the lighting tools, I control the light samples, scattering, asymmetry, and the density. As far as the color controls go, the initial light color is generated from the source light, but the material as it reacts to the light is done in the Volume Fog Tools environmental controls. Here I control the color and the amount of reflection, emission, and transmission of the fog as the light hits it. It's really fast and interactive too, as it's accelerated through OpenCL, and of course the speed is all dependent on your display card's support for OpenCL technology. Okay, so now that I've added some light on the situation, oops, sorry for my distorted sense of humor, I'd like to show you our new Lens Distort tool. Besides the obvious ability to distort an image for effect purposes, this tool can be used to invert or undistort an image. The Lens Distort tool is based on 3D Equalizer's Lens Distortion model. It's important to note to get the most accurate results from this tool and determine the Lens Distortion model accurately, the measurement should be derived from the 3D Equalizer software. The data can then be imported into Fusion's Lens Distortion tool for the most accurate result. If you don't own a copy of 3D Equalizer software, you can use a grid to approximate the coefficients. A useful feature is the ability to undistort an image, build your comp, and redistort it to the way the image was originally shot. Inside the Brightness Contrast tool, we've added a new feature that allows for an automated reverse color based on the tool's modified settings. Besides the obvious inversion features, you can use the reverse color feature as follows. Imagine a stereo workflow. The two loaders represent left and right eye, but the right eye is mismatched in terms of color. Color grading for this comp is slated to be completed at a later stage, but the compositing calls for an insertion of a CG element. Here, we'll temporarily grade the left eye to match the right eye. The reverse instance of the brightness contrast will allow me to grade the CG element to fit the wrong color of the right eye, so later the color grading can be performed correctly. The 3D LUT toolset allows for creation and use of internally or externally created 3D lookup tables in Fusion's ALUT3 format, ITX, or 3DL formats. For instance, I'll use this Cube Creator tool, which essentially is a 3D cube displayed as 2D layers. I'll apply a 2.2 gamma adjustment, which will match most of the monitoring systems in the world. I'll feed the corrected slices into Fusion's new LUT Cube Analyzer. Here I can choose the LUT format in Fusion's a LUT 3 format, ITX, or 3DL format, and write it back to disk. I can now use the file in Fusion's View LUT or File LUT tool. If I receive a color graded version of the cube image, I can use Fusion's new LUT cube apply tool and correct the image based on changes made to the cube image for accurate matching between systems. Fusion 6.3 now has embedded support for AJA's Kona 3 SDI card. We can now support all 2D image processes to be displayed up to 4K on supported monitors using Fusion's right click or key assigned view on command. As Primat 5 improves its keying technology, Fusion utilizes all the changes as Primat is included with every version of Fusion from version 6.2 forward. The enhancements of Primat 5 include adjust lighting for unevenly lit blue or green screen. The advantages are smooth edges of your foreground objects, better prevention of backing screen noise, and suppression of fringe artifacts and reduces the step in getting a good key. A new histogram analysis algorithm called Principal Component Analysis allows for significantly better detection between problematic foreground and background color components. A new hybrid mode which handles problematic situations when the color of your foreground object closely matches the backing color 
It derives the map by internally making two keys based on the backing and foreground color using a shrink mat technique. Previously, this had to be completed with two keying operations. With Primat 5's integration in Fusion 6.3, these numerous enhancements will help you solve your tougher keying issues. These are some of the exciting new features of Fusion 6.3. Hey, and don't forget to check out Ion's other new products. Dimension, which solves intricate stereoscopic production issues based on an advanced optical flow toolset, and Generation AM, Ion's new asset management desktop. And we'll be compositing with you and Fusion next time.